Hi guys, thanks for clicking play. As you can tell, I've got a bit of a sore throat. Well, actually, the throat's getting better. It's now into the cold. Um, I woke up this morning really wondering whether or not I was going to do a video today and how I was feeling, but I'm starting to feel a bit better now. I found some um, medicine in the outside cabinet, so that's in the outside fridge, sorry, so that's good. So that seems to be doing the trick a little bit. Um, and because I wasn't feeling too well this morning, I just sat there initially in bed and then when I got up into this lounge and um, just from breakfast until lunch, basically binge watched some YouTube videos that I've been meaning to catch up on. And then there was a fresh one from um, the Amiga Bros, uh, their R Sinclair stuff. Um, and they were doing a game which is not the same game as I'm doing today, um, but I'll link to their, chat, their, their video that they did today in the, in the description. Um, because their banter that they had at the beginning and their childhood memories are very relevant and it's exactly what I was meaning to bring up as well. So I actually had to comment in there saying, that's kind of what I was going to say. Um, but obviously I've got individual memories of those kind of things. And like I said, it's a completely different game. I'm actually, I'm actually reviewing today. Not reviewing, I don't, I'm not reviewing the games. I'm just going to play it and tell you why they're relevant to me. There's also another one, um, a pixel thing. I'm going to link to one of his videos in the chat, in the description. That's a really good one to watch as well. Um, him, it's him explaining why he collects and why his collection is a little bit different. And I'm like, wow, that's the first person I've heard it say it in that same way because that's where I want to go. It's it's only about the things that actually have any sentimental value to me. I don't want to go collecting everything here, there and everywhere. And no disrespect, I know like guys like you, Dave, um, and Steve and, and all of those guys. And, um, you know, you, you collect and that's your thing. You collect a lot. And um, uh, who's the other one that I really enjoyed? Australian one. Um, retro gamer girl very different style um uh and she's got a huge collection and and so there's nothing wrong with that but for me and look i know i think dave warned me on this in the in the comment section of one of his videos um it probably will get out of hand at some point but really i want to try and focus on the games primarily that i had um and, and a little bit outside of that but i want to share more of that next year so let's get into this because my videos do tend to drag on it's 35 degrees 36 degrees uh, centigrade here today, Celsius, centigrade, whichever one you want to say. Both begin with C, so I don't care. And uh, because I shut the doors to keep any other noise out, there's two sets of doors I actually shut here. Um, the aircon's not flowing through to where I am. And this is actually a cooler day to what we have been having. But I'm jealous of you guys in the UK. You're probably going, ah, oh, stop showing off. Uh, but seriously i've just read that in the uk you guys are going to get snow this weekend and i love snow and i so if there's not snow when we come over at christmas which i know is rare to have a white christmas this year's the year it has to be because i flipping want to see snow in england at christmas time i don't ask for much okay let's get into this so the game i'm going to show you today well let's get it loading oh bum did i just put it in the drive i don't think i put it in the drive i did earlier but then it was messing about so i had to stop right and then all right let's wait for that to disappear let's share that screen with you guys there's a bit of a hint in the background by the way i always not always but especially in my earlier videos i have I've, i decided to point it out today because Nobody's commented on it so far. Stuff does subtly change in the background here. Not so much in recent videos, but definitely the earlier ones. And I tried to make it relevant to the game. So if you, you get bored, you can go through and comment in those anything that you spot. Um, right, let's get into this. But there is something relevant in the background there today. Which I will talk about. Right, this time I'm going to go, can I do this? Would this work? Keep it in mind. Okay, this is another game that I played at, at the... Matt and Daryl's house. Um, so going back to those same friends that I talked about last week, Matt and Daryl would often fight. Last week we did Saboteur because that was one of my favourite games that I played at their house. And this is the other favourite game that I remember specifically. Another one we played was Horace Goes Skiing. Let's face it, that's a bit crap. Um, but, sorry if you like the horror series, but um, it is a bit crap. Oh, how does... <laughs> no, I can't do that that way. I can't remember how that works. How do you how do you load? Um, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna reset that. <laughs> and I'm just gonna use the loader. <laughs> I was gonna try and do the load and then, duh, duh, but it's oh because it was 48k. Maybe if it's here, I could at least because they used to type load, and then and then that. No, I, I, I'm sure that's what they did. 
Oh, no, you can't just do that. Right, <laughs> sorry, I was gonna be clever there. Right, let's just do it with the loader. It's already in the tape, it's already in the cassette deck. So the game we're looking at today, Paper Boy, hence the papers in the background. So while this loads up, um, why why did I love playing this? The whole thing of throwing papers into um, paper, you know, into mailboxes. Nah, whatever. It's a way to generate a score. Um, it was the fact that it was it was like it was a BMX game. Um, and, and, and at the end of the first level, all I wanted to do was get to the end of each level so I could do the BMX track. That's actually why I liked it. And I don't know about yourselves, but whether there was... It wasn't the main game that was actually the attraction. It was some sort of sub-little game or an little extra that was actually the the thing that appealed to you. Um, and, and for me, in Paperboy, that's what it was. It was that BMX track right at the end of the level, more than the level itself, um, that actually appealed. Again, I don't recall ever actually owning this game. I might have copied it at one point, um, in which case I would have had many load errors. See previous conversation last week. Um, and But uh, as I, I, this is another game I never really got particularly good at. Now, I'm sure you're aware if you're into retro games, this is a port of an arcade game. And usually what you're looking for in a, when you're playing a home version is how close is it and how good is it compared to the arcade version. Complete opposite for me. I played this first and foremost and primarily on the Spectrum and on the 48k Spectrum at Matt and Daryl's house. That's what I was used to. I remember, I'm pretty sure it was in Heathrow Airport one year, I came across it in, or it might have been Gatwick, I came across it in, in, an, in an airport, the arcade version with the handlebars and everything, and I had a go, and I was crap at it, and I was, it was so, I oh, crap at this version anyway. It was so different to what I was used to, and I didn't like it. It was, it was like the arcade had failed me for not being close enough to the Spectrum version, if that makes any sense at all. So yeah, this is absolutely love this game, and we were all into, you know, we had our BMXs, and you know, we were, and this is what the Amiga Bros were saying. Anything was a ramp back then. You know, you'd go over a curb, we'd go over tree roots, we'd go over tree stumps, um, we'd go up the woods in our BMX. In fact, look, here, here's a bit of, here's a bit of tie in with Second World War history. Because I grew up in Kent, um, we had a woodland near us and there was a couple of big divots, big divots that we referred to, the main one we referred to as the sand pit in the local woodland. And what it actually was, was a Second World War bomb crater. Um, and it had sculpted the, the, the sort of surroundings and trees had grown up over time and, and what have you. Um, and then somebody at some point had gone down and there was always burnt out mopeds down there, um, scooters, motor scooters, where people had sort of made a track and done motor scootering on there illegally and then burnt out probably a stolen motorbike um, and left it there abandoned in the woodland. So by the time BMXs and mountain bikes came around, we would go down there on those and that was our track. We'd always get punctures and there's chestnut trees there so you get to eat chestnuts at the right time of year. Um, those woods have been cut down now, unfortunately, because it was time to log them. That's what the wood, woods are there for, and so the Lando, quite with, rightly within their right, has, has, has made good on his investment a lot earlier, or maybe somebody else in his family, I don't know. But anyway, well, that's another story. That's a real aside. But So it's a bit sad. I can't actually visit that sandpit. I did, the not the last time I went back, but the time before, it was still there, so I went down there, looked quite different. Um, so that sandpit, that bomb crater is sort of, um, survive time until now when the whole area has been logged um, which is a bit of a shame uh, it's, it's quite emotional seeing areas that you think are just going to last forever and, and on, on some, some some levels it can be a shop that you think is always going to be around and then on other levels so I just realised I probably should have turned that volume down I hope this has come out okay with the voice my voice the way it is, I really do um, and I'm pausing because I think I don't want to really have to redo all that. I should have turned that down before. Anyway, let's hope this works. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, so yeah, it's quite emotional seeing shops that close down. Woolworths, British Home Stores, that's quite emotional. Um, your old computer shops, you know, your, your, the ones that we would have gone to back in the day. But things like that, a, 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 an area of woodland or, you know, something as specific as a bomb crater, could you believe? Um, and not being able to visit it anymore is um, it's like you, you literally can't travel back in time and to some degree you can't even visit these same haunts um, which is quite sad, it's quite emotional anyway, 
Paperboy, this one is taking forever to load, and this is how I remember things loading. This is great. This is how it should be. So, <coughs> here we go. So yeah, because we were into our bikes, I had a Rally Super Burner, which is a gold one. Rally have now re-released the Rally Super Tough Burner. 700 pounds, or is it 600, either, that's a lot of money. And even then you look at it and you go, oh, but it looks so good. What am I gonna do with that? I don't know, but I, I haven't bought one, because that just seems ridiculous. Plenty of people are buying them. Um, one of my mates, Steve, uh, who will be one that I'll talk about in future game ones, um, he was the, the slight, slightly older and richer kid, um, and he had a mongoose, which I know the Amiga Bros talked about. And, and what we'd do, we were stupid. So we'd we'd let Steve um, jump over it. There was one specific tree route that we'd jump over lots. So we'd let Steve jump over this tree route, and then we'd mark where he landed. And then we'd watch, and that was on a without him trying. Okay, so we'd mark how far past the tree route he lands, and we'd let him then do the same jump. And, and he knew he could do a better jump, but we were quite quite safe, safe really. And we'd, we'd let him do it several times, yet he's consistently going past that mark. Okay, good. <laughs> we would then lie down, and the fight then was who can get closest to the tree route, because that's where he wanted to be, because that's safest, believe it or not. And we'd lie down from the tree route, in line sideways though and we'd lie down I think the most was 11 kids side by side this is where it gets a bit sad in all honesty because kids are horrible things but there was a couple of um, slightly challenged kids um, in the area and if anybody if we're doing 11 people I hate to say it but it was the thing they got to lie on the end because nobody else would dare so uh, that's a horrible thing to admit to looking back but you know that's that was the reality of it um but anyway and nobody nobody got hurt let me say this nobody ever got hurt so Steve um would then go flying down jump over the tree root and he'd jump 11 I think 11 kids was the record so we did do it safely like I say we would always put a marker to see um and then yeah we go from there um yeah i'm not gonna sure if i'm gonna leave that admission in oh might have to edit that i, I don't like editing we'll see um let's get into paperboy so um uh yeah we're doing keyboard and we will start game Are we going to press space to start? No. What's going on? There we go. It's Monday. Now, the funny thing, oh, it's not WASD because that would be far too modern. What are the controls again? Oh, I have M. No, it's not M. Something. Is it the cursor keys? It's not the cursor key. I've. Oh. Q. M seems to throw them. Ah, OP. Okay, so Q is speed up. A is slow down and you can't stop, and then O is left, and P is right, and then I've got... How did it get me? I don't know. And then I've got the M button is throw my... No, N. N seems to throw them, and one of the, the comma throws them as well. No, don't smash the windows of the house that... Subscribed. Now, those of you, so the Amiga Bros, this might be of interest to you as a bit of a culture thing. Because actually, I was a paper boy. And I would do it on my bike. And in fact, I started because my parents were a little bit um, protective. Um, and so they wouldn't actually let me have a paper round because they didn't like the idea of me being out in the dark on my bike um, first thing in the morning just to earn some pocket money. So they wouldn't actually let me have my own paper round for a long time. And the way I actually earned their trust was I um, I actually helped Matthew out on his, on weekends. And he would pay me a little bit of his wage um, 
to to help him on Saturday and Sunday, which were the heaviest days because these were subscription papers, so you'd have all the magazines inside them and all that kind of thing. Okay. Now, um, I eventually went from that to doing three paper rounds and the marking up of the papers for the other paper boys. So I went from earning a maximum when I was helping Matthew of say two two pounds a week to earning. 42 pounds a week when I was doing three paper rounds of my own um, and the marking up of the papers. And then um, when I got my first retail job, which was in Woolworths, I was initially in game, but that's another story. I kept my paper rounds as well because I was saving money to go to a college. Um, and so I was doing these, these paper rounds and I was working retail as well. Um, straight after and that was around the time that I've discovered drinking as well so I don't even start I don't even know how I survived to be honest um, because I was going out partying at night because it was around that age uh, because you know I kept my paper out into even when I was 18 and whatever I'm not meant to smash the windows on that no I don't want creative cloud to make changes to this device Sorry about that. We had a bit of a interruption. Thank you. God bless you, Windows. Um, so, anyway, why was there a cultural difference that the Amiga Bros may be interested in? Well, because, as you're aware, in Paperboy, what you have to do is you have to throw the papers at least onto the porch of your subscribers. Or at the very least, you have to, or you know, ideally, you get it into the the mailbox, which is external to the house, um, and that's what you do in this game. So imagine my sort of confusion when I start doing my own paper round, and this this is is not the way you deliver papers, and in fact would be frowned upon. Here in Australia, by the way, we do have mailboxes external to the house, but in the UK we don't have that. You have a letterbox, and it's on the front door. I'm sure you're aware of this, but it's on the front door of each house. So for me to deliver papers, I literally had to frequently get off my bike um, and actually walk up a path and pop it in the front door. So some areas I would actually leave my bike at the end of the road because it was easier to do that bit by foot. And you just walk up and down delivering house to house. Um, not the dumb thing to walk or ride across people's gardens. Absolutely not. So no shortcutting like that. Um, and can I write 005? I can't read it. I can't do anything. Whatever. Oh, okay. It's up and down and... Okay. Whatever. <laughs> I was trying to actually type it in. It doesn't work like that. Um, yeah, so we do not, in the UK, deliver papers by throwing them in any way, shape or form. Um, over here in Australia, I have seen it done, but they actually wrap them in, in paper, in plastic, so that they don't get damped by people's um, uh, reticulation systems, gardening sprinklers, or um, or by rain or anything like that. But other than that, usually they are placed neatly in the mailbox, of course. Um, but you can't get away with anything even similar to this in the UK. It's a whole different experience. There are a few, there are a few drives I could, um, on some of the bigger houses, I could cycle up and open their their, their porch door and leave it on the mat um, and they were happy for me to do that and I could do that without getting off my bike um, but other than that no 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 right okay let's concentrate on the game and like I say this is another one of those games that oh um, I wasn't actually that good at but I just loved it anyway I absolutely loved Paperboy oh look at that Oh, look at that. <coughs> right, here we go. Nope. I've got no... Oh, there's papers. Okay. Smash the window. Beautiful. I don't know how that gains you a subscription. Nope. And I always used to try and just go as fast as possible, which is not the way you play this game, really. Because more than the delivering of the papers, for me it was about the pretending to be riding a bike. That was more appealing to me. 
Um, we used to always refer to that guy as, I'm sure he's a big wheeler um, in America, I'm sure, but we, we referred to him, and this is relevant to the spectrum, we referred to him as the C5 kid, the Sinclair C5 kid, because it looks like a Sinclair C5 if you choose to let it. So, yeah. It's, it's not a, a tricycle or a big wheeler or anything like that. It's um, he's, a, he's in a Sinclair C5. I've gone quiet now because I'm actually concentrating. Oh, that's one of mine. Oh, gonna lose the subscription. And this is the bit. This is the bit I used to just hang out for. This is what I actually wanted to play. Kind of, although they were different. They're like. BMX simulator or ninja scooter simulator. Those were some more sideways stuff, but that sort of feels similar. Here we go. How many subscriptions did I lose? Not sure. Can hear the aircon dumping its water. We've got a evaporative which they actually work in Perth because it's quite a dry climate. Smash those windows and run away. Now that guy seems to always get me, so I don't want to go over these guys. Flowers. Ah, oh, what? Oh, bum. Oh. I tell ya. Oh, because I'd run out of papers, maybe? I never really look at the sort of peripherals of, of games now. Well, I've got a ping for that, so that's good. Oops, smash the window. That can't be good. Let's get around that tyre. Sinclair C5 kid. Yeah, got him. See, and it goes zap. It's got to be an electric car. It's a Sinclair C5. Yeah, got it. Pling. Knock the lids. It's nice little environmental interaction on this, really. The little things that you can do, like run over the flowers and knock a bin lid off and stuff like that. For the time, quite a lot of detail, I think. It's always hard to work out if you're lined up with a ramp, I think, on that bit. There we go. Can't do that on a mongoose. Oh, how did that go flying over the... Oh, 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 ah! See, again, I'm like, I don't think I was anywhere near him. Oh, what was that? I don't even know what that was. Been slimed. There you go. Look, sorry I'm not feeling the best. Uh, it was tempted to not do a video. Sometimes maybe it's better to not do a video than to do one. I don't know. Um, but I just wanted to get that one done anyway because it's enjoyable. Um, it fits in with what the Amiga Bros did this morning, so I will link to that one in the description as well uh, because it's just nice like I say those similar memories but over two different sides of of the pond um, which is great um, and th these are different times um, and I think that's a bit sad uh, but I do still actually mountain bike um, so it's something I've got back into for my fitness um, and so it's great that it's literally like riding a bike um, or is it like falling off a log I think both are applicable <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's great um, to go back to that. And you do feel like a kid again. Um, not so sure about going back to BMX, although that is tempting as well. Um, I still have some skateboards. We'll see what happens with that. Um, if you see me in plaster cast in any videos, you know what's happened. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks for clicking play. Enjoy your week. Um, and hopefully I'll be a little bit better next time I do one. All right. Cheers.